Diomedes, the son of Tydeus and Daepile, was born to be a hero. He proved his valor in the Trojan War and was esteemed as one of the most skilled and powerful warriors of all the Achaeans. After the war, Diomedes didn't bask in the glory of his triumphs. Instead, he sailed to Italy and founded several cities there, thereby establishing his legacy as a hero both in Italy and Greece. However, Diomedes' legend did not come to an end with his death. He was worshipped as a god in many regions, including under names like Demeter and Mars. His cunning, bravery, and leadership had earned him the admiration of many, and his exploits continued to inspire countless tales and legends throughout the ages. But it was the fascinating details that made Diomedes even more intriguing. One such detail is that he is said to have commanded his horses himself and was the only mortal to have been granted the gift of talking to them. Another story says that after the war, Athena guided him to the land of the Sicanes, where he pillaged the city of Ismarus and took home a famous treasure, a cup made by Hephaestus himself. Thus, Diomedes' tale is one of a brave warrior, skilled leader, and accomplished hero whose legacy lives on even centuries after his death. Once upon a time, there was a legendary Greek warrior named Diomedes. He came from both Aetolian and Argive ancestry, with his father Tydeus exiled and finding refuge in Argos where he married Adrastus' daughter, Daepile. Tydeus later allied with Polynices and Adrastos in a failed expedition against Thebes, which had disastrous consequences for the Argive champions. Diomedes had to wait for ten years to take revenge on Thebes with the Epigoni, a team of seven sons of slain champions who fought alongside contingents from Arcadia, Messenia, Corinth, and Megara. Their battle with the Theban forces, led by King Laodamus, culminated at Glycis, with Aegialius dead. The vanquished Thebans fled the city, allowing the Epigoni to enter Thebes, loot its treasure, and destroy its walls. Thersander, son of Polynices, was appointed as a new ruler. After returning home, Adrastos died of grief, leaving Diomedes as the only surviving male member of the dynasty. To secure the throne, Diomedes married Princess Aegialia, Aegialia's daughter, and ruled Argos successfully for more than five years. Despite his political talents, Diomedes stayed abreast of Caledonian politics and reinstated his grandfather, Enius, on the throne. However, Thersites, Onchestus, and Agrius' sons took over the kingdom, and Diomedes led a successful coup, restoring Enius' reign and founding the mythical city of Gino, in memory of his grandfather. In later years, Diomedes maintained his reputation as a noble warrior, correctly identifying the murderer of Andremon's father and setting up an ideal memorial. He also participated in the Trojan War and was recognized as one of the suitors of Helen by some, although not by others. Regardless, he was a valued member of the Greek forces fighting in Troy and a man of honor, becoming the only warrior to seek punishment for Achilles' murder of Thersites. Diomedes was a legend not only for his bravery on the battlefield but also for his ability to lead and govern his people. Once upon a time, there was a young king named Diomedes who was known to be the most experienced and skilled leader among the Achaeans. He was a mighty warrior and considered second only to Achilles on the battlefield. One day, the Achaeans held a sparring contest where Diomedes faced off against Telamonian Ajax. Despite being a strong opponent, Diomedes managed to overpower Ajax, leading to a tie being declared by the other Achaeans. Diomedes was chosen alongside Odysseus for covert military operations that demanded traits such as discipline, bravery, courage, cunning, and resourcefulness. He was even fortunate enough to receive divine protection and assistance, as Athena favored him. Interestingly, Diomedes was known for daring to attack the Olympian gods, a feat only achieved by him and Hercules. He even wounded Ares, the god of war, with his spear. Additionally, he was bestowed the rare honor of having divine vision which allowed him to identify immortals. Due to his unique qualities and achievements, Diomedes was considered by many scholars to be an exceptional and remarkable leader. He even had the opportunity to become a god alongside Menelaus in post-Homeric mythology, ensuring his name would be remembered for eternity.
Diomedes, the warrior from Greek mythology, was admired by many for his impressive arsenal of weaponry. His cuirass, crafted by the god Hephaestus himself, was one of the few like it on the battlefield, providing Diomedes with exceptional protection. Alongside the cuirass, he carried a shield emblazoned with a boar and a sharp spear, though these were not enchanted like the sword of his father. Despite his impressive armory, the armor that set Diomedes apart was the golden one, bearing the crest of a boar on the breastplate. While not crafted by a god, it was blessed with powerful divine magic from the goddess Athena herself. This armor had a long history, having originally belonged to Tydeus, who was gifted the armor by Athena. Upon Tydeus' untimely death, his armor was passed down to Diomedes, who wore it with pride. And still, Diomedes' sword, crafted by his father, was the most treasured weapon in his arsenal. With intricate designs depicting lions and boars, the sword was a testament to his family lineage. While not magical like some of the weapons of his fellow warriors, Diomedes' skill and determination in using it made him one of the most heroic figures in the Trojan War. In battle, Diomedes wore his armor with pride and handled his weapons with grace and expertise. His iconic golden armor and adorned sword would become symbols of strength and agility on the battlefield, inspiring awe in the hearts of his fellow warriors and fear in the eyes of his enemies. <laughs>